has come for me to step aside. Two back-to-back -back majority liberal government. Shut <laughs> them terrorist act and a national tragedy. The job is done. Thank you all very much. Our story begins in October 1977. The Queen delivers the speech from the throne, and Canada becomes the first country in the world to televise live parliamentary debates. Canadians are allowed to witness firsthand the proceedings from the House of Commons. We have met the enemy, and they are us. For 15 years, the broadcasts remain the same. Speaker, there are many more promises made, which I won't list, but they're there. It's never been the same, Mr. Speaker, since we put him in a limousine with a driver. And when the House wasn't sitting, hours of information on billboards. But the Canadian cable industry had a different vision. They set about to create a Canadian service that would deliver politics, parliament, and public affairs. In early 1992, a consortium of 27 privately owned cable companies created CPAC. Nonpartisan, nonprofit, and independent. They volunteered to continue operating the parliamentary channel to ensure the public's continuing access to House of Commons debates at no cost to taxpayers. We let the viewer decide. We let the viewer make up his own mind or his or her own mind. We don't do it for them. Reflecting CPAC's increased coverage of public affairs, the channel morphs into the Cable Public Affairs Channel. La couverture de CPAC s'étend euh, non seulement aux activités de la Chambre des communes, mais aussi du Sénat. Euh, et évidemment, il y a un complément de programmation euh, très important sur tout ce qui touche les affaires publiques euh, d'un océan à l'autre. In 2001, CPAC is rebranded with a fresh new on-air look and attitude. We don't editorialize. We allow the members of parliament, politicians, etc., witnesses, to say what they say, and then just to show that unedited to Canadians. The other part of our commitment is to make sure that we cover the country. And we've done this, particularly during elections. I always say that we were the first reality TV show because we had people out there in Okanagan or ferries in Manitoba and the bus going through the Gaspésie in Quebec to show the rest of the country what was going on in those particular ridings and areas and what their issues in those areas were. For example, here in Saskatchewan, CPAC sat in on News Talk Radio to let Saskatchewan voters have a national voice on issues important to them. What's unique to CPAC is their programming continues to reflect Canada's dual linguistic nature. La richesse de notre pays repose notamment sur cette dualité linguistique et c'est pourquoi, pour véritablement apprécier la richesse de la conversation que nous entretenons en Canadien, sur la direction que nous voulons voir notre pays emprunter, nous devons présenter cette conversation dans son entièreté, peu importe la langue dans laquelle elle s'effectue. In these 20 years of transformation, CPAC has provided a daily window on Canada's democratic process. Since 1992, the cable industry has invested more than $50 million in CPAC. CPAC has covered seven federal elections, five prime ministers, 32 political conventions, and tens of thousands of hours of parliamentary proceedings and committees. Well, I think that one of the things that we've recognized over the 20 years is that we want to make proceedings on public policy and questions, interviews and debates as accessible as possible to Canadians right across the country. CPAC has thrived in a changing media world. CPAC was first to have streamed programming live to the web 24-7. And today, programming is delivered by cable, satellite and wireless distributors to over 11 million homes in Canada and worldwide via 24-7 webcasting and podcasts. And now, a new chapter in the CPAC story begins with the introduction of CPAC's digital archive. 20 years of our political past, key moments in the political history of a nation preserved forever for Canadians to access online at no cost. This is more than the previous government did. Day after day, year after year, the events that shape our country. CPAC, 20 years of 24-7 Politics TV.
Brought to you by Canada's cable companies.